In my last video I did a step-by-step -step build of this circuit. This is an A-stable multi-vibrator. As you can see, neither LED stays on. One's on and one's off, and then the other one's on, the other one's off. And it just keeps going back and forth as long as you have power applied to the circuit. So now, to turn the LEDs on and off, we're mostly using these transistors. Uh, hopefully you know about transistors now you studied. If not, uh, you really should. But uh, transistors are used as switches and amplifiers. And this circuit uses them in both ways. So when one transistor is turned on, it kind of randomly starts with one of them. You can see we have a negative path here to the negative side of the capacitor. Now the positive side of the capacitor comes to the positive side of the power source there. So we have a complete circuit here while the capacitor is charging. So now, while this transistor is on, that gives the positive current an easier path to go through the transistor to ground than to charge this capacitor. So this capacitor is not charging while this one is charging. Instead, the current is going through to ground. And this LED is going to be really bright. Now, of course, this capacitor also has the same path to negative, but as long as the transistor is on, positive won't come, so it can't get negative to come through this way. The capacitor needs to be connected to both positive and negative, but all the positive is being diverted. That's why this one stays off. Now also at this time, you have current going through this LED to the capacitor, but this is a small amount of current compared to the current through here, so this LED is uh, much brighter. That's because uh, transistors act like an amplifier. A very small amount of current coming to the base of the transistor allows a much larger amount of current to flow through. So the LED never completely turns off in this circuit. And in an actual A-stable multi-vibrator circuit, you wouldn't have LEDs here. You would actually have outputs on uh, one or either side that uh, go to other parts of a circuit but this is a demonstration circuit. It's easy to see the LEDs and wire it up this way. So that's why I made it the way that I did. So now, once one capacitor gets charged, as I said, this capacitor's not getting charged, then it'll stop pushing this positive current to the base of the transistor and it will turn off. That'll allow this capacitor to start charging again. It's also got the negative here. And so this one will start charging while this capacitor discharges. And while this capacitor is discharging, there's also a path for current to come through here because if you remember, this one's charging so it turns this transistor on. So now, while this capacitor is charging, just like this was at the beginning, I just randomly picked this one to start. This one's charging, this one needs to discharge. And so, this side of the capacitor is now more positive, that side is more negative. So this transistor is turned on, the positive has an easy path to ground. That's no problem. And then the negative side here, it can't go this way, that turns the transistor off. Negative to the base of an NPN transistor turns it off and, uh, and holds it off. But it can go up this way through the 10 kilo ohm resistor in this case to positive. So we have this drainage path and then of course the battery that completes the cycle. It's pushing everything but I have it separated here. So I'm gonna wrap it up there. Hopefully I explained what my thinking is well enough for you to understand and uh, hopefully I didn't make any mistakes either. But uh, this is really how you should think of circuits once you get done building the the simple ones where you just have a steady you know current and uh, doesn't really make changes you know once you get past that point you're building circuits that are doing things on their own you know you really should try to understand what the current pads are doing at all times at each stage of the operation and once you can start doing that electronics gets a lot easier and you understand how things are working a lot better